All right, so as promised earlier today, <clears throat> before we leave for the, the part for the morning session, I want to do a little tip, and today we're going to talk about uh, Dow Theory. So Dow Theory is pretty simple to understand, um, but basically it is comparing the Dow Transports to the Dow Industrials. So the Dow Transports used to be the Dow Rails. Back in the day, the railroads were pretty much the only form of transportation and the means of seeing the, you know, the state of the economy, basically. The better the rails were doing, the better the economy was doing, essentially. Uh, so then we threw the industrials into the mix. Now there's much more than railroads, obviously. Uh, so they changed it to the Dow Jones Transportation Index, which includes you know, any form of transportation, really. Primary focus is railroads and uh, airlines, though. So what you do is you basically compare the Dow industrials to the Dow transportation. This is Dow theory. So we'll pull out to a two-year chart on the Dow industrials. <clears throat> and one thing you can see here on the two-year chart of the Dow industrials is the fact that we had a really nice uptrend support line intact for quite some time. You know, it was, a, it was a little over a year. And we had a break to the downside. Now if we zoom in close, you can see what happened here. We're going to, we're going to a one-year chart now. You can see what happened is we had this. So what happened was we had this higher high. Uh, we had a strong break to the downside, which was this flash crash action. And then we had a lower high followed by a lower low. So, you know, all in all, pretty significant bearish activity taking place there. Now, in order to confirm that we have moved into a primary bear market, you have to take a look at the Dow transportation. So, Dow theory basically says that if you get a 